Good evening YouTube, 106 Amps back with another video. This time we're going to be talking about adding SSB delay to your amplifier. Single sideband delay. Alright, what I've got here is the two pill base that I built a while back ago. And we're going to be adding SSB delay to it. I'll go through the parts that we need, show you where I put them at in there, and then we'll talk about how it's wired up and the different way you can wire it up. All right. First off over here, 16 gauge Teflon wire. You'll need one quarter watt, 1K ohm resistor on the LED. 1K ohm, one quarter watt resistor. And as I look at that, I didn't lay the LED out, but you'll need an LED in the holder for it. All right, that's your resistor that you'll need. And then you'll need a mini double pole, double throw switch. This is the way I did it. It might be able to be done different ways, but a mini double pole, double throw switch. And you'll need a, turn it around a 1000 UF 25 volt electrolytic capacitor. 1000 UF 25 volt electrolytic capacitor. All right, that's your parts that you'll need. Now, the electrolytic capacitor can be mounted back here by the relay if you want to do automatic sideband delay where you don't have a switch in line you know you can do it that way if you want to do it that way and you don't want to go through a switch you take the negative leg of the capacitor which is the shorter leg and you put it down to the board and then you take the longer positive leg of the electrolytic capacitor and you solder it to the negative terminal of your relay right there. All right, I'll just show it one more time. You would take the negative leg of your electrolytic capacitor, the shorter one, and solder it down to the board and the positive longer leg to the negative on the relay. That's how you would hook it up for automatic sideband and that's all you would do okay now if you want it through the switch have all those components like I talked about and of course you're gonna to have to mount the switch on the front and you're gonna to have to have the LED and grommet holder for it so you can have all that on the front switch it to single sideband when you want to all right now I mounted the electrolyte capacitor right there you could probably mount it anywhere along the board. But now the double pole, double throw switch, when the switch is down like that, and you see that's why I marked up on my switch so I could get it right. When the switch is down, whatever is on those two center terminals is on the top terminals. When you flip the switch up, it switches it from the top terminals to the bottom terminals. I say that one more time. When the switch is down, which will be your off, whatever is on the two center terminals is on the top terminals. When you flip the switch up, it takes it down to the two bottom terminals. That's how I'm using it here. Okay? All right, now. the one side of it here with the three terminals on this side. You don't use the top one. Let's see if I can get it down there where you can see it a little bit better. All right, what you do is, remember what I said, whatever is on that center terminal, it will switch it down to the bottom terminal. Now this is just for your LED. This is just to make your LED light up. The center terminal, you run a piece of the 16 gauge Teflon wire over to your main switch and it's the output of your main switch not the side that comes from your power pad on your board it's the output terminal 
of your main switch. So when you turn your switch on for your amp, that turns on the power on your board, when you turn that switch on, it throws power over and it goes back to your board, of course, back to your relay, I mean. So you put a white wire right to that terminal that it has 12 volts when you flip this switch on. So that sends 12 volts over to this middle terminal on your double pole, double throw switch. Now the bottom one, when you flip the switch on, it'll have 12 volts there. That is this side of your resistor, your 1K quarter watt resistor. And that hooks to the positive side of your LED. So you got that? Your white 16 gauge Teflon wire from the output side of your main switch for your amp comes over, goes to the center terminal on the double pole, double throw switch. Yep, I can hold the camera a little stiller. The bottom terminal the positive leg of your LED, ah, of your resistor, positive leg of your resistor, hooks to the bottom terminal and comes up and hooks to the positive leg of your LED. And of course, the negative leg of your LED, I put it behind the switch. You can run it down the ground on the board, but the negative leg of your LED has to have ground. So I put it behind the switch. Okay, that's how you hook up your LED part of it. And that's on this side. When you flip the switch up, it takes this 12 volts, goes down, sends it through the resistor and to your LED. Okay? Now, the other side of your double pole, double throw switch. You take the bottom terminal down there, the bottom terminal, and you want to run that bottom terminal on the other side over here the bottom terminal when you got this marked up when your switch is off the bottom terminal you run it to ground I ran it right there right down behind this one and to ground okay now your middle terminal this is all part of the electrolytic capacitor and your delay circuit the center terminal, the center one, a piece of 16 gauge Teflon wire comes down and goes right to the negative leg on your electrolytic capacitor. Give it to you one more time. The center terminal on that side over there comes down and goes to the negative. See what the stripe down there goes to the negative leg of your electrolytic capacitor. Now, you see I just got a piece of heat shrink on here so they couldn't touch each other. This is the positive leg of your electrolytic capacitor, right there. I soldered it to another piece of 16 gauge Teflon wire and it runs all the way back, back, all the way back to the negative leg on your relay. And that's pretty much all that is to it negative leg of your relay with 16 gauge Teflon comes over and goes to the positive leg of your electrolytic capacitor. Negative leg of your electrolytic capacitor with a stripe runs back up and goes to the center terminal. Not the top, not the middle, the center. Bottom terminal comes down and goes down to your ground. And like I was saying on the LED side of it, the center terminal gets 12 volts power from your main switch. The side that has 12 volts when you turn the switch on over to the center terminal. The bottom terminal hooks to your resistor and hooks to the positive, I think it's the longer lead on your resistor. The negative shorter lead on your resistor goes over to ground. And that's all that is to it. 
I hope I took enough time to explain it all right to you. That's how you hook up SSB delay on your amp. It has the right amount of capacitance to keep the relay from chattering when you key down on single sideband that has no carrier. Hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. But anyway, I added this to my two pill base. I tried it out. It works great. Relay does not chatter. It works great. 25 volt. 1000 UF electrolytic capacitor and your resistor quarter watt 1k ohm your double pole double throw switch 16 gauge Teflon wire all right everybody that was my first time doing single sideband delay just did it learned about it hope I said everything right if I didn't one of the professional amp builders, somebody let me know in the comments if I did something wrong. But it did work, it worked good. Don't ask me to explain about biasing. I know, I know, ham guys will tell you, no, this is not right. This is a class C box. You need to have it class AB, it needs to have biasing the filtering in it. I will, I will learn that and I will come back with a video. That will be next. I will learn, I know, it's not technically right, but I wanted to do it, try it, and show you all a video of how it's done. Okay, YouTube, I hope this helps somebody out. Y'all have a good night. 106 Ams out.